Hello everyone, I'm Devon and I'm going to share with you how I make my tender and delicious buttermilk cheddar biscuits. These are the ingredients. We're going to be using some flour, unsalted butter. We're going to be using some medium cheddar cheese, some uh, baking powder, salt, egg, and buttermilk. Let's get started. So what we're going to do first is we're going to start off with our dry ingredients and I'm just kind of aerating my flour. You can sift it if you like, but I just kind of aerate my flour and I'm using all purpose unbleached flour. And typically with all my recipes, I like to use the all purpose unbleached flour. And so in our bowl, we put two cups of the flour. Next, we're going to put in our salt and we're going to be using one teaspoon of salt. Now, if you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you're a returner, welcome back. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I invite you to hit that subscribe button and become one of my awesome subscribers. Now, next what we're gonna do is we're going to put in some baking powder and we are gonna be using one tablespoon of baking powder, okay? Now, these biscuits come out nice and light they come out buttery, they come out cheesy, very, very good. These biscuits can not only be enjoyed in the morning with breakfast, but these biscuits are great in the evening time if you're going to have a nice stew, a beef stew, or if you're going to have chicken for dinner. These biscuits are really versatile where you can have them in the morning or also in the evening. Now, once we've put our dry ingredients in our bowl, I did a nice mix to blend everything together. Now, my butter, I'm grating it because my butter was actually frozen. So my butter is frozen. I like to use frozen butter because it helps with that nice flakiness and the layers that we're going to get from these delicious biscuits. Now, in the description box below, I'm going to have a list, as always, of all the ingredients you need to make these yummy biscuits in your kitchen and for your family, okay? And what I'm doing is I'm showing you how to take those ingredients and put them all together. Now, once we've grated all of our um, butter and our butter, we're using unsalted butter and that was one and a half sticks of unsalted butter, okay? You see what I'm doing now is that once I have that butter in there, I go around and I make sure that all the grated butter is nice and broken up. And then also you see how you have these little peas, pea size um, flakes of the butter and um, the flour that have blended together. And you see what that looks like? That's how you want your flour and butter to look in your bowl at this point, okay? And so I just go through and I make sure that everything is nice in there and incorporated. I pinch it together with my hands and also see how um, when I make a fist with that flour and butter, how it holds together in the bowl, that's what you wanna have happen as well. So I went on and did a quick wash so we can get that flour off our hands. And we're going to start with our next ingredient and that is going to be our cheese. I like to use the freshly grated cheese because I feel like it melts better um, in our biscuits than using the bag cheese. But if bag cheese is what you have, by all means use that. We're going to be using one cup of grated cheese. And as you see, I put a little bit of flour on the cheese just to kind of keep it from clumping together when we add it directly to our bowl. And the um, little bit of flour I put, that was a little less than a tablespoon. And then the cheese is one cup of grated cheese. I'm using medium cheddar, but you can also use sharp cheddar as well if you like. Now, once we have that in there, we're going to use our egg. Our egg is a cold egg. So you want to take it directly from your fridge. We want to beat it really good. And we added that to our bowl as well. Next, we're going to add in our buttermilk, nice cold buttermilk. And that is one cup of nice cold buttermilk. Be sure when you take your buttermilk out that you shake it real good. The first part, we're going to use our spatula and we're just going to go on and blend everything and mix everything around. If your dough seems a little bit dry and there's a lot, a lot flour and it just seems a little bit dry, you can add one tablespoon, just like I did. I added one tablespoon. Sometimes you need that tablespoon and sometimes you don't. So just do your one cup of buttermilk and then kind of see how your dough is looking. And then if you have a lot of flour at the bottom and it's not quite coming together, go in and add that one tablespoon. Now you see what I'm doing here with the bowl? I'm gonna go from the bottom to the top. I'm moving my bowl as well as I'm moving my hand at the same time. Your dough is going to be sticky. We're going to have nice sticky dough because that's going to create some really good biscuits, okay? 
Now this is important. You want to make sure that you knead your dough really well. So you see how I'm flipping it? I'm flipping it onto itself. And what you're doing now is you're creating layers. You're gonna flip it, bring it to yourself, flip it back around, and that's how you create those nice layers. And so again, you want to push it from you, bring it to you, flip it, flip it back onto itself like you're doing like an envelope or a letter, and you wanna flip it and bring it back. That action is what creates layers for your biscuits, all right? And while I was kneading the biscuits, on my mat, I put a fourth a cup of flour. So that fourth cup of flour, I had sprinkled the majority of it on my mat when I started kneading the biscuits, and those, the stickiness of the biscuits started to absorb that extra flour that we had on the mat, and that's what you wanna have happen. Now what I'm doing is I'm gonna create an eight by eight square but you want your square to be no bigger than a nine by nine. So either an eight by eight or a nine by nine, somewhere right up in there is totally fine for the size square that you create when you're making your biscuits, all right? Also, um, the thickness, you wanna have your biscuits about a half an inch thick for the thickness of it. And then you're gonna um, cut them into your squares that you like. And with my um, buttermilk cheddar biscuits, I like to cut them into squares, but you can definitely cut them into rounds if you prefer. Now, for um, they're not gonna be perfect, so any of the smaller squares, you can put them in the middle. They're gonna bake at 425 for 15 to 18 minutes. Well, our biscuits have baked in the oven. I have baked them on my stone. Now you can also bake them on a cookie sheet as well, or you can also, um, and on the cookie sheet, you wanna put parchment paper down. If you have parchment paper, you can definitely put that down. Now, if you wanna have your edges like mine are, nice and crispy around the edges, you want to put your biscuits where they are not touching, okay? If your biscuits are not touching, you're gonna end up with some nice crispy edges around the edge. Now I'm gonna butter them while they're nice and warm with some unsalted butter. And then we're gonna give our biscuits a try and see how we did and see if we have those nice little flaky layers in there. I'm gonna cut one in half and oh, did you see that cheese right there? Look at that, the cheese is in there. Wow. These biscuits came out really nice, y'all. Nice golden. On the bottom, they're gonna be a beautiful color. Just baked up nicely. Oh my goodness, let's see how we did though. You see those layers there? And you see that cheese? Mm. Oh my goodness, y'all. These buttermilk cheddar biscuits are absolutely delicious. Well, I hope you give this recipe a try. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Go on and hit that subscribe button. It's free. If you like this video and appreciate the content, don't forget to show it some love and give it a thumbs up. Well, that is it for me today, guys. And remember, it's always good when Devon is cooking for the family. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye, everybody.